Good morning, Farmer Lee. We are up and at them early this morning. And as usual, we've got a jam-packed day. <laughs> I, um, we've got chores to do, cows to move. We've got chicks coming. We've got to clean out the brooder. Um, I also have some errands to run in town and Ella has a softball game tonight. So we've got a lot to do, a lot to get going before this evening. And, ooh, sorry about that sun. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. It's uh, quite chilly out this morning. <laughs> I've got uh, my thermal jogging shirts on underneath just a t-shirt, but it's definitely cold. I think Olivia. Hey, you good? Look at pink nose. <laughs> I think it's probably getting close to time where we need to start putting the bunnies away into the barn at night just for a little bit more protection. It's not awful, but it's definitely cool and I don't want them, um, <clears throat> you know, we need to make sure that they are cared for and all the things, but they're good. Good morning, Bun Buns. Good morning. Hi, cute bunnies. But uh, yeah, I think it's about time we put them out and, or put them in, at least at nighttime, I think. So, a little barn status. We've got Vinny and Jim over here, our breeding ram, lamb, and whoop, Vinny, our buckling. We've got Miss Buttercup in the stall over here. Hi. <laughs> there she is. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. And then, of course, we have the mob squad. All the goats in here. Good morning, goats. They're caged in like wild animals over here because that's what they are. This is supposed to be Osu's stall, but he likes to sleep out on the cold driveway instead of in his nice warm stall. And I don't know. Oh, they're way out there. Oakley and Annabelle are right there. <laughs> All right, let's get everybody fed and where they need to be. And uh, yeah, get back inside and make sure the kids aren't wreaking too much havoc. You will notice that Ryan is not with us this morning. He's had just a rough go the last month or so. He, um, he was walking Buttercup <clears throat> the other morning because we need to, you know, make sure that she stays trained, halter trained. So he was walking her and slipped on the wet grass and his leg went underneath him and hurt his ankle. I'm not sure. I don't think it's broken. Um, that was day before yesterday. I don't think it's broken, but it's definitely swollen and he's in a lot of pain. So he is laid up, um, resting it, you know, resting, icing it, doing all the things and stuff that need to get done. So we're trying to decide whether or not we actually go to like urgent care and have them check it out or the emergency room or whatever. Um, so we'll see, but I am solo and getting this done. So let's get these animals fed before they revolt on me. Yelling at the kitty. <laughs> There's the kitty. There he is. So normally what I've been doing is putting Buttercup out in one of the paddocks next to the barn um, over here, but I don't wanna do it right now. I just don't like working with her with Olivia on my back, just in case she's still new to us and new to all of our processes and stuff. And so just to be extra safe, I will, uh, I'll will i do it later when I don't have her when she goes down for her nap. So she's fine in her stall for a little bit. She's got water and food, but normally I've been putting her out in this paddock <clears throat> just to get sunshine there's not really anything for her to eat out there but just to be outside and get sunshine and all that stuff but 
We're gonna get the goats out for sure. I'm still feeding them. I haven't had a chance to set up a new goat paddock. I also need to set up a new dairy cow paddock, but where do we find the time? <laughs> It's just not enough hours in the day, let me tell you. So let's get the goats out, get them fed, and then we'll be done out here and I can come back after Olivia goes down for her nap. So I've been really keeping an eye on the goats this past week because they are probably... <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> hey, Olivia, do you want to tell everybody what today is? What's today, sweet girl? Say I turn one today. Happy birthday. <laughs> you won't see this uh, video until I think... This will be Friday's video, but today is Olivia's birthday. She is one and mom is not ready for her to be one, let me tell you, uh, especially since she, since she is most likely the last baby. <laughs> I would definitely have more if uh, one, I wasn't so old and two, we weren't so busy. <laughs> But anyways, today is Miss Olivia's first birthday, our baby, first baby born in Kentucky. Hi. <laughs> um, anyways, I've been keeping an eye on the goats because they should be coming back into heat pretty soon. And I need to track it so that next month, this is October, I want to breed them in early November um, for kidding sometime in March. And so I just need to track it so I know when to put the buck in with them in early November, um, just to, you know, make sure we get bread at the appropriate time. So I'm also getting ready in the next couple of weeks to probably put this little ram lamb back out with the lambs for the next month or two to get everybody bred out there, hopefully, fingers crossed. But I've been paying attention to them, just trying to make sure that, um, you know, I know when everybody's coming into heat. I also need to pay attention to Oakley and Annabelle because we're going to be breeding them after the first of the year. So, you know, it's just <clears throat> learning those cycles and, and paying attention so you know what, you know, what's going on with your animals. All right, well, these chores are done. I need to turn off the brooder water over here and then we'll get these babies some breakfast. We usually just do like a preliminary snack when we wake up, some applesauce or um, actually, I think Ella took some pancakes out of the freezer. I usually make a big old batch of pancakes and then just throw them in the freezer. And she's so crazy, she actually eats them frozen. <laughs> I don't know, but whatever, teach their own, right? But she likes them, so it's a nice little, just a quick morning snack, and then we'll go do chores. And it was so cold this morning, though, I didn't want to bring them out with me, so <clears throat> I left them inside and just brought the baby. And, but we'll go in and have a better breakfast and then get the baby down for a nap and finish up all of our chores. All right, well, breakfast has been had and I've got the baby down for a nap. It's amazing how just like, I don't know, I think it's been maybe two hours since I did the first part of chores and it was chilly, but the fog has burned off and the sun is out and I'm back in my t-shirt. So definitely feels like fall is one of those sort of seasons where it's cold, hot, cold. Last night we took Ella to her softball game and I had jeans and a t-shirt and flip-flops and by about the middle of the game I was freezing my butt off because I wasn't really prepared for how cold it got once the sun goes down. <laughs> it was very pleasant in the beginning and then yeah it got cold. So I just have to get used to that whole season where it's super cold in the mornings and evenings, but then it warms up a little bit during the day and we can go back to, you know, t-shirts. It is what it is because before too long, we're gonna be in thermals and Carhartt and beanies and gloves and still be cold. So I'll appreciate this little sunshine that we're getting right now. <laughs>
All right, well, schooners are done. Let's go move cows. Hopefully we can get it done before nap time or before cranky kids. <laughs> Come on, cows. Let's go. Come on, cows. Really, B-dubs? Come on, cows. Come on, cows. There we go. Come on, guys. Come on, cows. Good job. Come on. Come on, cows. This guy's smart. Come on. Come on, everybody. Come on, cows. Well, I was actually in such a hurry when I went to move cows. I only had about 30 minutes before the girls really needed to get in and get, you know, fed and down for a nap. Like, we don't try not to mess with that schedule because it can kind of get ugly if you have kids. You know, nap times are kind of critical. So, and my kiddos, maybe, you know, other people's kiddos might not be like this, but my kiddos, especially Emma, she, well, honestly, both of them, she needs her sleep. So, um, so I ended up not taking any video. It's just super time consuming. If you make videos or you have any idea, um, you know, it just, it takes more time. You've got to set up your camera and, you know, do whatever it is that you're going to film and then go move your camera or get your camera or whatever it is. So it just does, it does take, um, a little bit longer, about double the time, to be honest with you. If I'm filming whatever it is that I'm doing, especially if I'm moving a lot. If I'm just stationary, it's not a huge deal. But if I'm moving a lot, like when I do the cow paddocks and I've got to, you know, move my camera around and go back and get it and things like that, it just, it takes a while. So point being that I didn't get a video of me moving the cows. And I don't know if you can hear Buttercup, but she's mad at me because I didn't put her out today. Um, Ella has another softball game, actually her last softball game of the regular season before uh, the tournament, which is I think next weekend. So I didn't want to have to put her away in the dark and just, you know, with everything going on, it's just, it was too much. So I am actually um, in the freezer real quick. I need to pull out some stock packs for broth. Uh, we're going to make a batch of broth. And then I'm going to pull out some meat for the rest of the week's dinner. Since we had softball yesterday and today, we just kind of winged it with dinner. The girls had sandwiches and Ryan and I just kind of scrounged around. And we'll do the same thing tonight. Um, but I want to like make dinners for the rest of the week. I'm going to make that hot honey chicken again. Those were so good. And I think we're going to try and make some burrilla tacos. I have a roast uh, that I had got at the butcher shop in the freezer. So we're going to make some burrilla tacos and see how those are because I love burrilla. Um, and I don't know. I'll pull out something else. Oh, chicken wings. Chicken wings are always good. They're pretty fast and easy. So I'll grab some of those. But I'm going to pull this stuff out of the freezer real quick and get it into the house. And then we got to get the brooder cleaned. I only have about about 45 minutes before I needed to get the girls up from their naps and get into town for Ella's softball game. Well, I have some errands to run and then Ella's softball game. So, so let's get this done. All right, well, I'll take you shopping with me. <laughs> while we go. This is great. We love raising our own meats because I can just go shopping in my own freezer. So it's, it's absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to grab a couple of packages of chicken breasts. So some chicken breasts, I'm going to grab some whole chickens. Whole chickens are always nice to just throw in the, um, in the air fryer, or if I want to, I can turn the oven on. It's cooler now, so it's not a big deal if I have the oven on during the day, but I don't always like to do it. And then I'm looking for wings. I'm gonna pull out some chicken wings. The chicken wings are all the way here in the back. Oh, here they are. So, so far. And then what else should I pull out? I might pull out some links. 
I made those sausage, um, the sausage links with the bell peppers the other day, and it was really good. I really liked that. And the girls actually liked that. Ella and Emma both, um, they both ate it, you know, really well. So I was impressed. What is this? Oh, spare ribs. Hmm. I'm not going to eat those. <laughs> we have a lot of ground pork. This whole box right here is ground pork. And this whole box right there is ground pork. We have probably, probably 300 pounds of ground pork. <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> Quite a bit. Um, you know what? I might have some, I might pull out some ribs. I'm going to pull out some Boston butt and make um, either carnitas or chili verde. I'm a big fan of um, pork roasts. All right, let's get these in bags and get them up to the house. Alrighty, well, that is it. I'm actually gonna leave this brooder out. As you can see, it's a little wet back there because we left those chicks in there for so long. They, they just make a mess, more of a mess with their water than the littler chicks. I don't know why, I don't know if they are bigger so they just sit under it or what, but they, they just make their water leak a lot more. So it's pretty damp under there. 
So I'm gonna just let it sit overnight. It doesn't take very long to reset it, so I'll tackle that in the morning, but I gotta get going. I gotta get the girls ready and out the door and um, so we can get to, I need to go pick up my contacts already at the, um, the eye place and I gotta get there before they close. So we are, we're gone, we're gonna go. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm gonna leave you with, hopefully I'll get some video of Ella at softball, but thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you on the next one.